Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am so excited to be filming this video today. Today I am filming an introduction for the Deck of Panning Project Pan. This project was originally started by Emily from Emily and Max. So I wanna say thank you to Emily for organizing this project for all of the fellow panners out there. I have been loving watching her videos and other deck of painting videos and i just cannot wait to get into this project myself because it's kind of a gamified project pan and it seems like a lot of fun and just a really cool way to cycle through my makeup collection get use on There's something going on outside my door my cat <laughs> So I'm so excited to do this project because it's such a fun way to cycle through your makeup collection and make sure your makeup is getting use that maybe isn't a part of other projects. I've been doing a rolling project pan for just over a year now and while I really enjoy it because it helps me to use up makeup items and really understand how long it takes to use up a single item and keeps me from buying a lot of new items. I also have noticed that while I'm working on those specific products, a lot of my other makeup collection is getting neglected and falling to the wayside. So this will be a really fun way to bring in other items, make sure they're getting the use that they deserve, and I'm cycling through my makeup collection in a really fun way, in a way that challenges me, that kind of creates this little you know, competition with myself and also in a way that I can share with other panners in the community. So, so excited to get started today. I'm of course going to link Emily's video in my description box. She goes into very thorough detail about how this project is run and also how you can play along with this project and she also has a playlist that she creates for all the other deck of panning content creators so i'll also link that playlist below and i encourage you to check out other content creators that are doing this project because it's just a lot of fun to watch i think so it's the kind of content that i have been consuming on youtube as of late which is why i'm here now i don't know why i like it so much i just think it's like satisfying it's satisfying to watch people use up their makeup and it's satisfying to use up my makeup so i can't get no satisfaction anywhere else like i can in the painting community i do just want to give a quick thank you to emily for putting this project together i think it's so creative of her and super generous of her just to share this game with the painting community i find it to be original and entertaining and a different just twist on panning i think it's awesome that you are bringing new ideas to the community. So good on you, Emily. I'm super excited to be a part of your project this year. And thank you for just being so sweet and helping all of us with all of these rules and game boards and also creating playlists for everyone. And just making everyone feel welcome and included in your panning game. So shout out to Emily, thanks. Basically, how this project works is you are using a deck of playing cards to randomly select five cards. And those cards correspond with some kind of prompt that Emily has generated in her deck of panning spreadsheet. So I'm gonna be drawing five cards today from my deck and that's gonna help me to choose the five products that I wanna focus on in this project. The deck also includes one single joker and that joker is basically like the boss as emily calls it it's like the most difficult level of panning and she calls it are you joking me so basically it's a product that you don't want to pan either it is like really a difficult product for you to use maybe it's like a item you don't really like to use very much maybe it's a sentimental item that you don't want to use up and it just adds another extra element of challenge to this game, which I think is fun, even though, you know, fingers crossed, <laughs> I won't be subjected to the Joker my very first round. I'd like to ease into this a little bit. That would be great. That'd be great. You don't necessarily have to use up these items that you bring into your project. You can kind of set your own usage goal. And also there's a lot of room for interpretation with these prompts. Like, you know, one of the prompts is the, you do a random color generator and then whatever color you randomly generate, you can, you know, use either an item that is that color. Maybe it's the color of the eyeshadow, of the lipstick, of the eyeliner, of the nail polish, whatever it is. Or you could just find that color on a bit of packaging. So there really is lots of room for interpretation. Another one is like the oldest item in your collection. You don't have to go back and find the oldest 
item of all of your products, you could just use your oldest lipstick or your oldest eyeshadow palette, et cetera, et cetera. You get what I'm saying here. So I don't want to go too far into this intro without just getting into the meat and potatoes, which is drawing our cards. And here is the deck that I'll be using this year. I'm using a Marilyn Monroe deck of cards because I'm a big Marilyn fan. I just think, you know, obviously she's beautiful. She's an icon. These cards will be lovely to play with and just look at all year and um, enjoy. So we can look at beautiful Marilyn as we pan together. So I have my cards here. I have counted them. They were all 52 and that joker in there. So there's 53 cards available for choosing. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these really well. And a friend of mine once said that you're supposed to shuffle cards nine times. That's like the statistically perfect amount of shuffling, which I don't know where this guy gets his information. Nine seems excessive to me, but you know, why not? Nine sounds like a good number. So that was two. I do know you can over shuffle cards though. I have heard that. Like once you shuffle them too many times, they just kind of unshuffle themselves, if that makes sense. They just eventually go back to the original arrangement they were in when you started. I don't know, it's math for you. I'm not gonna get into the math of all of it. All right, this is my last shuffle. Okay, we're all shuffled up. So I'm gonna choose my five cards first. I'm just gonna draw from the top of the deck and then we will go find Emily's spreadsheet and figure out what prompts we get. And then that'll help me to choose my items. All right, got my cards, got my spreadsheet. Let's go. We've got, okay, King of Clubs, our first face card. Six of Spades. Ten of Spades. A lot of black cards here. Seven of spades. Interesting. Last card. Six of clubs. Okay, we've got our five cards. Now the fun part. We get to find out what our prompts are. So let's dig in. Aha, okay. King of clubs is going to be newest product. That could be any category, of course. We've got the six of spades. That's a baked product. Okay, that's a good one. I don't have a ton of baked products, but we'll see what I can find. 10 of spades, spotlight a panner. I'll have to see what she means by that. Seven of spades is a matte product. And our last card, the six of clubs, will be in it for the long haul. So let's think on that for a second and choose some products. All right, so I picked out all my products. That was a little bit harder than I thought it would be, but I think I picked out some great selections. I definitely tried to focus on items that were in my list of products that I want to use up this year, so you might be familiar with some of the things you'll see. And for those of you waiting, I am filming a makeup inventory for 2022, an update on my makeup inventory compared to what it was at the beginning of last year or really was the end of 2020 i'm way behind so that is coming a full makeup inventory with all of my items listed and counted and we'll see what i've been able to get through over the past year so keep an eye out for that in the meantime let's introduce the items i've selected for my deck of panning project all right the king of clubs was for the newest item and i decided to go with my newest concealer this is the Too faced born this way concealer and i have the shade light beige i recently purchased this with a gift card it's a little pricier than i would normally like to spend on a concealer but i do really enjoy it however i think i got a color that's slightly too dark it matches my skin very very well but typically I like my concealer to be just a shade or two lighter than my skin tone. This one matches my skin tone pretty darn well. So I am gonna bring this in. It hasn't gotten a lot of use since I purchased it just a couple months ago. And my goal for this item will be to use it. I'm gonna keep this goal pretty easy for myself just to keep things interesting. And I'm gonna challenge myself to use this 10 times, which I don't think will be hard to do. I am already panning a concealer and a foundation so this one will just kind of have to squeeze in wherever it fits so i'll definitely think i'll be able to use this 10 times by the next update 
The next card was the Six of Spades, and that was a baked product. And for this item, I chose my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. And this was in my products that I wanted to pan this year. This product is just kind of difficult for me to use. I haven't quite figured out how to use it yet. I just find that the shade is just, it kind of shows up on my cheeks almost as like a blush or a highlighter. So I'm gonna play with this for the next month and see what I can do with it. I'm gonna put the goal for this item at 30 uses, which I think is totally doable. It'll give me enough time to figure out how I like to use this product. And I'm sure by 30 uses, I'll be ready to move something out. So yeah, I'm not even sure if this is a baked product, but it's got that dome to it, so hey. It's baked enough in my book. I don't have a lot of baked items. It's just, I don't have any baked eyeshadows. I think I maybe have one baked blush, but I already have like two other blushes I'm working on, so I don't wanna bring in a blush. And I don't have any baked bronzer. No, I do have a baked bronzer from Hourglass. It already has pan on it. So yeah, wanted to bring in something that has been neglected. That's the whole point of this project is to bring in things that need to get used. So yes, this will be a fun one to experiment with. Six of Clubs was an item that is in it for the long haul. And when I looked at Emily's instructions, that means that you use it a hundred times. So I was going through my collection thinking, what can I feasibly use a hundred times without totally getting sick of it? I also wanted to challenge myself to choose an item that I don't normally reach for. So I decided to choose my one and only cream blush. This is the Alouette Face Paint. And it's a cream blush. You can also use it on your lips. And it's quite a nice color. I got this in a boxy charm, but it's pretty much full, as you can see. And I just don't ever remember to use cream blush, but I have been using it a little bit more recently. I have been using my Project Pan lipstick as a cream blush, and I've been enjoying that. And I really thought that this would be a good choice because it's something that I can layer with the other blushes in my project. 100 uses. Yeah, this definitely will be a long haul. If I can use this maybe 15 times a month, then it'll be with us for six months about, right? <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, um, that's okay though. I wanted this to get some love. It needs love. So that's what this project's all about. It's fun. I'm challenging myself. 100 uses, all right? Wish me luck. The next card was the Seven of Spades and that was a matte product. So I went through a lot of options in my collection. I'm at bronzer, I'm already working on. I'm at blush, didn't wanna bring in another blush. I'm at eyeshadow, I got my hands full with eyeshadow right now. So I decided to go for just a matte face powder. I know, kind of boring, but this is an item that I wanted to use up this year. This is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation, and I love this foundation. It provides great coverage. It's great for touching up makeup throughout the day. However, um, this product is just about almost done. So there's what it's looking like. You can see it already has some pan in it. This is an item that cracked and I had to repress it and then it cracked again and I had to repress it again. And before I could repress it, it opened up and pff, product went everywhere. I lost most of the product. So this is all that's left in there. And my goal for this one is gonna be to use it up. That's what I'm gonna do. I think it'll be fun. So yeah, I have the shade Y235. It's a great match for me. If I use this religiously, I think I can get through this pretty quickly. Not much product left to use up, so it shouldn't be too hard. The last card was the 10 of spades. The prompt for this is to spotlight a panner. So I thought, of course, who better to spotlight than Emily herself? And I was going through all of Emily's former project pans over the past you know, year and just looking for products that she has worked on that I also have in my collection. And I didn't find a lot, I did find one product that she had in her deck of panning project last year that I also have in my collection, and that is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Melted Fig. And I know what you're thinking, this is like not the time for lip products, but I do love this shade. It's like a very like berry, almost like purple, and it's a really flattering shade. I find it really easy to wear. I think it's beautiful. My goal for this product will be to use it 10 times before I roll it out, and I think that'll be very doable. I'll just have to kind of keep it for the weekends or for after work, for the evenings when I'm not having to wear a mask. 
This product is definitely one of the older lipsticks in my collection, so it's only fitting that I roll it in and spotlight Emily for this prompt in my deck of painting project. All right, everybody, so that is everything. These are the five products I'm gonna be working on in the next month in my deck of painting project. Super excited to share this project with you. I'll be uploading my updates on or near the 20th of each month, just like Emily does. Go ahead and look for those updates on my channel. I will, of course, link Emily's channel down below, along with other people contributing to Deck of Painting this year, as well as the Deck of Painting playlist if you're interested in more videos like mine. Thank you so much for watching my video today and sticking around all the way till the end. That is some loyalty right there and I appreciate it. It is much appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about my choices. If you're doing this project this year, I would love to follow you along as well. So please give me a little nudge if I'm not following you already. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you're doing well out there and I cannot wait to share my updates with you next time. See you then. Bye.